Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Smart Money Mo and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to find A class setups on a day to day basis uh, with a beautiful trade example and breakdown that we'll be doing later on on EURUSD. Now before we get into the actual video topic I just want to quickly mention that earlier this week we took an absolutely banger trade in the team. Um, I actually sent out this US 30 signal and yeah, you guys can see here that the uh, entry SL and TP was all sent out as a proper signal should be sent out. Uh, this trade ended up running over here. You guys can see for three RRs and uh, yeah, it was a very uh, well managed trade. And because you guys can see that I did send out to the team to put their SLs to BE after we hit two RRs. And yeah, it was an overall very well managed trade and loads of guys profited from this trade. Now, this trade was actually taken using one of my newer strategies. Um, which is a part of my 2024 course update. So let me guys tell you about that. The 2024 course update will be released this weekend and it will be, you know, a big course update with multiple new working profitable strategies for the rest of 2024. For example, my ALQ strategy and like this uh, uh, index strategy, which I just showed you guys, which I just used recently on US 30. So if you guys do want the access to the 2024 course update strategies um, and you want the signals and all of the other benefits listed here, make sure to check out the first link in the description to sign up for the mentorship. Now, the mentorship currently is £99 and this is a discounted price. This discounted price will be ending this weekend and after this weekend, I will be increasing the price of the mentorship to £150. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because this course update is going to bring a lot of new value and I'm going to be doing this as well as signals, weekly calls and all of that other good stuff. So it's only fair that the price of the, uh, of the mentorship increases to £150 for the value that I am um, giving you guys. So make sure to get into the mentorship while it's still £99, literally under £100 and check out the first link in the description. But without further ado, let's get right into today's video. Okay, everyone, here is the um, model that we are going to be talking about for today's video and this is what I call an A class setup. Whenever I am approached with these setups, these are the kind where I will go in with my full 1% risk, I will be sending them out as a signal or if I if I don't send them out as a signal, I will be taking them on my, on my personal account with full risk because these are the types of setups where um, you know, the, the, the likely rate of them going to TP is extremely high and the, and the strike chance of it uh, is entering me and uh, going in my favor is also extremely, extremely high. The reason is, you know, because we have multiple confluences all pointing in the same direction with, you know, our liquidity based approach, uh, inducement, order flow and all of the other good stuff that I'm about to mention right now. So the first thing that you need to make sure you have when you are looking for an A class setup. So the, the best of the best is that the all of the sort of foundational rules of the order block uh, um, and the supply and demand are being followed. So you guys should know that the, the foundational rules are firstly, a break of structure. That is the first thing you guys all should know by now that to, to find a valid demand zone or supply zone, we need to have a valid break of structure. So this means a break of the previous high or low. So in this case, we can see that this previous high was broken by this move. Uh, giving us a break of structure. The second foundational rule of supply and demand and order blocks is high volume. Now, this is something that actually goes unmentioned in, in, in some of today's uh, industry's videos where people try and talk about supply and demand in their videos. They often mention this key thing of high volume. And that is that you guys can see here, this is the down move of this order block or demand zone. And this up move up here should be creating some sort of, you know, displacement or fair value gap or whatever you guys want to call it, there should be a lot like a, a big area of buying pressure after this down move. And that is uh, the second foundational rule of our order block. And the third foundational rule is that this order block should not be mitigated, right? And um, I'll just put NM for not mitigated. And what I mean by that is before we actually enter, there should be no previous um you know, entries or taps in to the zone. And as you guys can see here, the only tap into the zone is when price actually mitigates the zone itself and is where I take my entry. And that is exactly how it should be. Now, we've gone over the three foundational rules of uh, what makes uh, this uh, sort of viable trade. 
Uh, now let's actually go over the things that make this an A class setup, and will is what will you know increase the, the 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 win rate, and what is what will increase the likelihood of this being a very uh, good trade and going in my favor. So, first thing is order flow. I've mentioned order flow multiple times in my previous video, and I cannot stress how important order flow is because it gives us a sense of direction in the market, and it's telling us that price is going to be pushing in this direction for the coming hours, days, or whatever the time frame you're on, or for the coming minutes at least. So in this diagram here, we can see that price has a previous demand zone here, and this demand zone is mitigated by this move, which causes a break of structure and causes another demand zone to be uh, created. When we're seeing successive demand zones and successive mitigations of demand zones and successive break of structures, you guys can see here successive uh, break of structures, we can class this as order flow and this will uh, increase the likelihood of this trade going right. So if I put a number one here, order flow, OF. Number two is liquidity sweep. Liquidity sweep for me is just an essential part of my trading and I always have to see a liquidity sweep before trying to enter in an order block or a, um, you know, a lower time from confirmation or that sort of thing. So as you guys can see here, when, when I wanted to trade off of this zone over here, which I, I did, I had to see a previous liquidity sweep. And as you guys can see, we had these equal lows, price came, swept these equal lows, and then actually created the move, which made my demand zone. This is an example of a liquidity sweep that worked out in our favor. So that's the second thing, liquidity sweep. Third thing, that I will be looking out for is inducement. So let me just clear up what we have over here. And there we go. Let's get rid of all of this. Like I said, the third thing I'll be looking for is inducement. And that is when we have a demand zone on top of our demand zone. And what this does is it will induce early buyers into the market, using them as liquidity to fuel the move towards our actual zone and then bounce off of this zone. So, this is basically, um, some people call it SMC trap, all of this other uh, names, SMC trap, um, early demand zone, um, fake zone, whatever it is. In my eyes, I just call it an inducement level. And yeah, that is what we need to see. Um, so I'll just put over here IND. And the fourth and final thing that I will usually look for is the Fibonacci um, tool. So what I will look for is for price, in our dealing range or our price range to be in a discounted level. Because we are buying, we want price to be way below the 50% mark as we want to be buying at a good level. Um, so yeah, so if I was to get my Fibonacci from this low all the way up to this high, I would want uh, my zone to be anywhere between the 0 0.71 to the 0 0.85. These are like the sort of golden zone. Is I know that's a bit of a, um, a cliche word, but this is basically what I'd call the golden zone for me is. Anything below the 0 0.85, so closer to this end of the range, is fine. You just need to make sure that it's not already been mitigated. But yeah, now that we've got the fib here, these are the four things that I look for on pairs like EURUSD to give me an A-class setup. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to switch on to the real life charts and we're now we're going to move on to the breakdown on EURUSD. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, everyone. Here I am on EURUSD. We're currently on the 15 minute time frame and we're going to be doing the most of the analysis on this time frame. And uh, yeah, so first things first, let's actually go through the three base rules which made this a valid zone to be trading from. So first things first is, as you guys can see here, I have already marked up this break of structure. And that is simply because we have a previous uh, level of structure, which is this high. And the move, the up move over here from my order block has created this break of structure. So that is break of structure uh, completed. Next thing is high volume. And as we can see here, um, to you know, sort of zoom in, this is the down candle of my order block. And the, the candle right after it is an engulfing candle and it takes out this previous candle. Uh, which is A-OK, -okay, and we can uh, class this as high volume. Then following along, we actually have a lot of fair value gap and a lot of momentum towards the upside, as you guys can see here. So high volume is also checked off. The third thing is no mitigation. And as we can see here, there are 
no wicks back into the zone price has not previously mitigated the zone before and we are still waiting for our first entry for the zone and that will be the entry that i will uh, enter aggressively from so our three rules for this order block are being followed now we need to move on to what makes this a a class a star class high quality st uh, setup so first things first i want to mark up is this liquidity sweep over here price creates this level of equal lows and it is slow um uh, swiftly uh, swept by the move which created our zone this is absolutely perfect and exactly what i wanted to see next thing i'm going to point out is um our inducement So you guys can see right here, there is this small level, this demand zone right above our actual demand zone. This is going to act as a level of inducement as traders are going to be wanting to trade from this instead of this and putting their stop loss at this low. Another level of inducement that we actually have is this level over here. This is going to be appealing to other traders of the market who might be wanting to be trading from this uh, support level or from this uh, level over here, which actually matches up with this uh, base number over here. So yeah, this is going to be another level of inducement. And another thing that I want to point out is something which I didn't actually mention in the previous slide, which I should have, is this level of liquidity. So what we have here is a level of joint up uh, sort of liquidity in the form of equal lows. And this is going to be another reason why a price is going to move uh, swiftly towards the downside, sweep all of these levels and then move into our demand zone. So, like I said, this is going to be another level of um, liquidity, which is going to improve our uh, success rate with this particular trade, making it a high class setup. Now, another thing that I want to point out is the Fibonacci. And as you guys can see, this zone lines up perfectly with the uh, 0.85 mark and is the, the fair value gap is closely followed with the 0.75 mark. So that is also a OK. I'm going to um, just put this sort of to the right hand side so we can still see it, but it doesn't get in our way. I'll just move this down here. Um, what else are we looking for? We are also looking for uh, order flow. And as you guys can see here, um, we are left with this wick zone. So on the lower time frame, this is going to be a demand zone and price taps into it right here. We give that a blue circle and we also have um a pre previous break of structure over here as well with this previous high uh, let me just make this easier to see i should just copy and paste this one so i have a previous break of structure as well here and um, we also have, well, we could call this mitigation of this one, but I'm going to leave it out for now because price does slightly wick below it. Um, but yeah, we have this wick zone over here and this is mitigated by this move. We have our demand zone here. We have our inducement. We have our liquidity. We have our liquidity sweep. Uh, we have our break of structure. And yeah, that is um, everything that we basically needed in order to find this A class setup. Um, again, very, very simplistic, very, very easy to find. Um, now, let's talk about targets. I actually had my targets um, marked up here at this supply zone. And yeah, that is basically all we needed for this trade. Now, all we have to do here is set our limits. Stop loss there. TP's there for a lovely, basically, one to... 1 to 6.6, .6, so basically I want 7. I'll call that. And uh, yeah, let's see how this trade runs. Price swiftly moves into our zone. That is a very key point. You guys can see here this huge bearish candle. And, you know, if, if some of you doubt about the significance of liquidity and inducement, you can see the minute price takes out these equalos, takes out this level of inducement, takes out those equalos, and takes out this level of inducement, we see a huge increase in selling pressure and if that's not enough to tell you that these you know these um the, the theory behind these trades work then i don't know what is 
So price gives us that huge surge towards the downside. Then it instantly slows down with this doji candle the minute it taps into our demand zone. And then price surges up towards the upside, giving us a full TP. Now, this is the 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 high class setup, the eight star um, setup. And this is all of it going into place with each other. Don't forget another significant part of, uh, you know, having a very good trade is the actual TP itself. And I'll recommend putting my TP at, you know, opposing levels of supply and demand. That's another thing that I teach in my course, which is exactly how to TP. But yeah, guys, that is all for today's video. Hopefully you can take this, um, this model and this, this, um, how to get a high quality setup into your own day to day trading. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. If you guys want the um, 24, uh, 2024 updated course, as well as signals, weekly calls and other good stuff, make sure to check the first link in the description for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.